This is... I, I've heard of Mass Effect. I've never played any of the Mass Effect games. So, I got the PS5, you got the Legendary Edition, which I guess includes Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, but in 4K. It's supposed to be a classic, mega-awesome game. So, uh, I'm gonna check it out. I got my second shot of COVID vaccine today. I'm feeling perfect, no side effects whatsoever. Uh, and I have off three-day weekend, so I say it's Mass Effect Party Weekend, baby. Let's get it. All right. So, oh, let's read all this. Okay. And I'll write it. Okay, and... And I read it. All right, look at that. Mass Effect 2 and 3. Let's do three first and then two and one. No, we're going to do one first, but let's check out the options. All right, so English font, da da da, da da da. All right. Good. Oh, that's the only options. Oh, okay. Too many options. All right. So, here we go. see what kind of effect this game has on me. Will it be a little bit of an effect or a massive effect? Here we go. Check it out. All right. And I am playing on the PlayStation 5, so this should have super fast loading screens. But real quick, just going to make sure this is playing on Twitch, right? Make sure my mic's sounding good and all that good stuff. So I'm just pulling up my app on my phone. Make sure nobody's even watching yet. Okay, here we go. Mic check one two one two. Fast loading screens, but real quick. Looks good. Sure this Testing te text. Make sure my mic's sounding good and all that good stuff. So I'm just pulling up my app on my phone. All right, we got it. Here we go. Now keep in mind, I can only stream in, in 1080, but I'm watching it in glorious 4K. Well, let's see, what's extras? What are the extras? Options. Graphics. Eh, motion blur. Uh, I don't like motion, motion blur. I like it clear. Film green? Nah, man, I like it crystal clear. Resolution. Favorite quality. I'm going to see quality. I got a PS5, so I mean, the FPS should be fine on a PS5, I can only assume. So let's get awesome graphics. All right, so yeah, that's the best graphics you can get right there. No film, no blur, high resolution. All right. Make sure that's stuck. Yep. All right, and let's see. Calibration, what's this? Oh, okay, so brightness, increase or decrease. Okay, I guess that's the fault. I can't change that. Okay, HDR. All right. And adjust the game's HDR until the logo is no longer visible. All right. Oh, no longer visible. So I guess we'll just do until it goes away. Okay, so my TV. Now it's gone. All right. HDR brightness, calibrate pinkness, blah, blah, blah. Until the logo is no longer visible. Okay. There it is. All right, sound, dialogue. I like to have the music at 25%. That's just me though. I don't know. Uh, I, I like to hear it a little bit, but I don't like to be overwhelmed by it. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do it this way. Okay. Eh. All right. Controls. Not really gonna change any of this. Just check them out. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, let's see. Gameplay. Difficult. Super easy. Nah, man. We'll just go normal. Auto level up. Nah, I like to pick my own stuff. Level scale and linear mode. Hmm. 
In plastic mode, the original 1 to 6 level range will be used instead of the new 1 to 30 level range. XP and health points progression remain the same, but the number of levels is doubled. I guess I'll do legendary. I mean, oh, we'll do that. Squad power usage defensive. Squad AI will only use defensive powers to protect themselves or others. Um, we'll use all available talents. None. Squad AI will not use any talents unless ordered by the player. I guess I'll go by default. Subtitles, we'll, leave, we'll put those on. Auto save, yes. Any other tools? Yeah, I never played, so let's do it. Alright. And that's it. Alright. Uh, Alright. Okay, let's get this party started. Alrighty. Welcome I mean to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Her voice kind of reminds me of Gideon on the TV show um, Legends of Tomorrow. So let's see. Um... Yeah, I'd rather play as myself. So, let's see. Custom. And of course, jug a little Zam, baby. Oh, what the hell is this? There we go. Oh, there's a limit to characters. Well, ain't that a bitch. Oh, shit. They couldn't afford Z-A-M? Three more characters? Come on. But we'll go, I guess, with just Juggler Razam. Raz. Juggler Razam. Juggler Raz. Or Jug Razam. Juggler Raz, I guess. Close enough. Please log in to access your profile. Alright. Accept. Alright. Warning. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. All right. Confirm pre-service history. Let's see. Spacer. Both your parents were born in the Alliance military. Your child was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from post to post and never stay in one location. Blah, blah, blah. Colonist. You were born and raised in Mindor. Small border colony. Blah, blah, blah. Earthborn. Well, I'm going to go with reality. I was born on Earth, as far as you know. So let's try Confirm Earthborn. psychological profile. Hmm. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses. So long story short, so survivor, just what you think it is. War hero, blah blah blah, blah blah. Risk your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite possible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one base that will get the job done. You've been called cold, calculated, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes fellow soldiers wary of you. You know what? I'm gonna be the hero, man. Confirm military specialization. Hmm. So, soldier. I'll skip read. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Engineer, let's see, using holographic omni tool. So it's a hacker, it's a repairer, disrupt enemies. Engineers can only wear light armor. Eh, pistols, I don't like pistols. Soldiers, heavy armor. Eh, adept. Biotic specialists, through upgradable implants, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects. Shield squad. Disable and destroy enemies. Adepts can only wear light armor. They specialize in pistols. I ain't a fan of the pistol. Infiltrator. Okay, tech abilities. Specialized killing. Ah, long range. Infiltrators are trained. How many tools focusing on description? A little bit of hacking. Offensive rather than healing. They can specialize in pistols or snipers. I'm, I'm, I'm more of a fan of, of the... Uh, like regular rifle, assault rifle, not sniper. So is this going to be, let's see. So this is a combo. Hmm, healing skills, defend allies, dressed up opponents. 
Oh, but at the expense of combat? No, oh, I like combat. Vanguard. Biotic Warriors. They combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents are especially deadly at short range. They specialize in pistols and shotguns and wear medium armor. You know what? I'm not a fan of the pistols, but I like heavier armor and I like the ability to have shotguns. So, although the scope, the sniper is tempting. Hmm. So that's close up or range. Yeah. Ooh, it's between infiltrator and vanguard. So let's see a combo of bi biotics and weapons. Hmm. Uh, you know, we're going to go for Confirm the infiltrator. facial identification. Oh yeah, I'm going to make it look like me. Sorry if you're watching this on board, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to spend a little more time on this. So let's see. Um. Hmm. So. You got a, in real life, a jawline. Uh, it's either this one, maybe that one. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for this one. Skin tone. What are the choices? Okay, dark to light. Um. No racism here, but in real life, I do have pale skin, so uh, we'll go with we'll go with this one. Yeah, we'll go with this one. Let's see, complexion. What's this do? Oh, I see. Um. Wish he would just fucking stand still. Alright, let's see. Oh, so there's only three choices. Okay, so it's like scarred. A little bit scarred, but smooth. Eh. Guess we'll go this one. Alright, head. Neck thickness. Okay, so wider, thinner. Okay, face size. Hmm. Yeah, right in the middle. All right, cheek width. Oh. Hmm. Bones. Gaunt. Hmm. Oh, I see. That's that part. Um. Guess there? I don't know. Ear size. Eh. Guess we'll leave them neutral. Orientation. Eh, look at the way they are. So, okay. Eyes. Eh, I'm not gonna worry too much about the eyes. Alright. 
jaw. Um. Okay. Chin. Starting to look a little bit more. Okay, mouth. I think I'm going to leave the mouth right where it is. Nose. Width is good, but the uh, edge of it's not too correct. So let's see. No shape is good. Height, depth. The depth is the uh, thing I want to work on here. Oh, that's the bottom part, though. Hmm. small uh. hmm. none is gonna exactly look like mine but if I had to pick one um. hmm And none of these look like mine. And we'll go with that one. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. My sides are like this, but my top is more long. More like this, in the shaved sides. But, I guess I've been going for one. I'll go for this one. Beard. Stubble or a goatee? Let's see. Oh wait, let's get color. Let's get black. Oh wait. Okay, so I can see it real good first. All right, so beard. All right, see what we got here. Dude, just look forward and stop moving around. You're pissing me off, dude. Just look forward and, and pay attention. Damn. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see color. We're almost going to play the game. Calm down. Take it easy. Uh, let's go for that one. Let's see this hair color. Oh, you think they match them up? But all right, let's go. Dark brown. Alright. And finally, it's going to be this or what? 
Maybe that. We'll go with this A little stubble. All right, scar. Let's go for no scars. Cold. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna finalize cold. Huh? Interesting. But yeah, we're gonna finalize. Profile reconstruction complete. Boom. Too bad they don't got Juggalo face paint. All right, let's see. Complete X. Let's do it. Identification confirmed. Okay. Well, this looks good. All right. Continue. Now the game begins. All right. First time ever playing. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Space and time. They call it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it Mass Effect. Ooh, I like sci fi space and time travel. I didn't know time travel might be involved in this. The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Alright. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Huh? Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers, act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Huh? Okay. 
not much to see here yet, of course, but that music in the beginning was pretty loud. Uh, check, take that down a notch. All right. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. I make my own rules, but okay, I'll go. I'm telling you, I just saw him. He marched by like he was on a mission. He's a Spectre. They're always on a mission. And we're getting Engineer. dragged. Right I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us oh, about this wait. mission. Oh, um... wait. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He so I wonder how I find the... Not his choice. Well, I found the captain. Ah, anyway. uh, there's the flag. Okay. Eh. You watch too many spy kids, Jenkins. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. We'll talk to one person on the way. What's up? What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Hmm. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. Mm. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Okay, so there's the flag. So, okay. Alright. Aye, aye, Captain! So, oh, that's not the Captain, Commander is it? Shepherd. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Ah. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Hmm. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. Oh, here we go. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. <clears throat> That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. 
We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Hmm. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. <laughs> There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Oh. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity mm. wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. <clears throat> we want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden... Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Joker. Bring it up on screen. Oh, shit. Here we go. out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 hmm status report 17 minutes out captain no Is other alliance ship in the area hand? take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated no shit a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You go in. Get it. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two.
right. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Let's see. Of course, it's R2. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles right. everywhere. Keep your guard up. Okay, so left knob is duck. Alright, where's the objective? Ah, uh, there we go. to switch weapons. Okay, so that's the pistol. Ah. So I'm thinking the greens are the one I have. Let me see. Say, so, uh, um. Oh, that's the different people. Okay, so... We're gonna go We're gonna command him to equip that. Or command this one. And me, let's see what we got here. We're just gonna test these weapons real quick. Alright. This is probably the shotgun. Yep, that's the shoddy. And that's the scope. We'll go with the medium. So we'll go with the lancer. And... I have this to do the scope. Alright. Let's see here. So we're going to go this way. Oh, crap. What? Huh. Right through his shields. We're at a chance. Hmm. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. I wonder if that would always happen, or if that was a... an option. All right, so. Oh, so we can't jump over these rocks, huh? Oh shit! I didn't know triangle was health. Damn it! That's what I get from not looking at the controls, but that's cheating. Okay, so let's see. Oh, oh, square does the grenade. Something. So. Okay. All right. So, I guess we have to find a path down there. Hmm. Uh, I can't believe we just can't jump over these rocks. Flame. Hmm. Use aim target. Select a power. Uh, use throw. 
Use sabotage. Use overlord load. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, so that's some kind of my hacking skills, I guess. Metagel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omnigel can be used to blah 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 blah. Alright. Well, I did that once already. Yep, yep. I'm curious. Let's see. Squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Select talent arts rank. Press X to spend talent points. All right. Three to spend, and this is me. So I wonder if I do armor. All right. Hmm. Strength of your shields. Increase the amount of. Restore when you repair the vehicle, which electronics repair by past power. Encryption increases the amount of almond gel recovered. Let's use description to get all your objects. Stealth, charm, intimidate. Uh, okay. This dude. Okay, so that's how we switch them. Oh, okay, good. It's points per person. I was hoping I didn't waste all of them. So for them, uh, let's see. Combat blighter. Hmm. First aid. All right. That seems like a good thing to have. Okay. What's this? Alien counts for races. Three most politically important races. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157 which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. So they're kind of like the Klingons in the in-between Star Trek and Star Trek NG moments. Let's see, what do we got here?
Roughly 1,200 years ago, the okay. Turians were... In okay, that's it for that. Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. All get the job done one way or another, often operating outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres were founded after the Salarians joined the Council. For many years, they operated in secrecy as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a Spectre is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear that the Council is concerned about a situation. Hmm. The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Still, the Alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval gave the Alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic face of humanity. All right, I stepped away to go to the bathroom. Now we're going to play the next uh, part. I'm going to play the game. I'm, I'm, I'm going to learn the lore. I'm not just going to skip all this stuff. The Terminus right. systems are located on the far side of the Attican Traverse, beyond the space administered by the Citadel Council or claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. It is populated by a loose affiliation of minor species, united only in their refusal to acknowledge the political authority of the Council or adhere to the Citadel Conventions. Their independence comes at a price. The Terminus is fraught with conflict. War among the various species is common, as governments and dictators constantly rise and fall. The region is a haven for illegal activities, particularly piracy and the slave trade. At least once a year, a fleet from the Terminus invades the nearby Attican Traverse. These attacks are typically small raids against poorly defended colonies. The Council rarely retaliates, as sending patrols into the Terminus systems could unify the disparate species against their common foe, triggering a long and costly war. Genetic barriers, more commonly called shields, provide protection against most <clears throat> mass accelerator weapons. Whether on a starship or a soldier's suit of armor, the basic principle remains the same. Kinetic barriers are repulsive mass effect fields projected from tiny emitters. These shields safely deflect small objects traveling at rapid velocities. This affords protection from bullets and other dangerous projectiles, but still allows the user to sit down without knocking away their chair. The shielding afforded by kinetic barriers does not protect against extremes of temperature, toxins, or radiation. <clears throat> All right. Ah, secondary. Okay, so we know about that. Okay, we're speed reading this. Oh, 2069 is 2021 now. All right. Hmm. Pluto. 
Mars. Hmm. Ah, telekinetic abilities. up with you at the dig site. <laughs> Is there no run button? Ah, uh, X. To issue orders to your squad, attack your target, have a specific corner, move to a point, or attack target enemy in the group. I'm not used to the X, I'm used to pushing down the knob like in Call of Duty. Oh, now what? Oh! Well, hello. Got him. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. 
They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Move out. Okay, she's got two points. Hmm. Limited health generation. Increase melee weapons damage. So the Blinken one is new info, all right. The Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of labor and war. When the Geth showed signs of self-evolution, the Quarians attempted to exterminate them. The Geth won the resulting war. This example has led to legal, systematic repression of artificial intelligences in galactic society. The Geth possess a unique distributed intelligence. An individual has rudimentary animal instincts, but as their numbers and proximity increase, the apparent intelligence of each individual improves. In groups, they can reason, analyze situations, and use tactics, as well as any organic race. Geth space is located at the trailing end of the Perseus arm, beyond the lawless Terminus systems. The Perseus veil, an obscuring dark nebula of opaque gas and dust lies between their space and the Terminus systems. So I came from here, huh? All right. It's so weird because there's... Is that just like north? Because it seems like I want to head there, but... It appears blocked off, so I guess we'll go this way. Mm, what's this?
Okay, so now it says protection five, and that's the scorpion I found, so now that's the better one. Okay. Alright. I ain't going back where I started. Okay, here we go. So that's where we were to go. Can we mark it? Aha, that helps. All right, there we go. That's what I needed, the map. There's our friend, the indicator arrow. Uh, this whole extra running is is weird. I mean, she's just pushing down the knob. It's all right though. Run to the waypoint to take cover behind the rock. Move to the edge of cover and press R2 to fire. I don't see anybody though.
Aha. Oh, I goofed up, huh? Can't pick up anything. Let's see what this says first. Combat hard suits use a dual layer system to protect the wearer. The inner layer consists of fabric armor with kinetic padding. Areas that don't need to be flexible, such as the chest or shins, are reinforced with sheets of lightweight ablative ceramic. The outer layer consists of automatically generated kinetic barriers. Objects traveling above a certain speed will trigger the barrier's reflex system and be deflected, provided there is enough energy left in the shield's power cell. Armored hard suits are sealable to protect the wearer from extremes of temperature and atmosphere. Standard equipment includes an onboard mini frame and a communications, <coughs> navigation, and sensing suite. The mini frame is designed to accept and display data from a weapon's smart targeting system to make it easier to locate and eliminate enemies. Ooh, six points. Okay, so I want to use this guy's sniper rifle since he has... That's a special power, so... This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Impaling victims instead of just shooting them. There must be some reason behind it. Classic hmm. psychological warfare. They're using terror as a weapon. Hmm. Let's see. 
Smells like smoke and death. Hmm. Okay, how the hell do I get here? Um, all right. Oh, and since this guy's special power is sniper, let's uh, use the sniper. like they hit the camp hard it's a good place for an ambush keep your guard up oh god they're still alive what did the geth do to them Damn it. They made them into guests. Now we know what those spikes are for, turning our own dead against us. Flashbacks of uh, Parappa the Rapper there for a moment. Humans, thank the Maker. Human. Close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Hmm.
What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. What's up with I that guy? Never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awaken uh -huh. the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This hmm? isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Wasting your time. The age of humanity is over. Our extinction is inevitable. Manuel, I need to ask you something. It's probably best if you just leave him alone. Say goodnight, Manuel. Uh. The darkness is coming. The end is near. You can't... Oh my god! What did you do? That was a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. Just a little bump on the head. Let him sleep it off. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Hmm. I did not mean to do that, but... Okay. Now, let's see... Head to the spaceport. Alright. After the Geth secure a location, they round up and impale dead and living bodies on mechanical spikes. The spikes rapidly transform these victims into withered husks, extracting water and trace minerals, and replacing them with cybernetics. The cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into mindless killing machines. Some Alliance soldiers refer to the husk-generating spikes as dragon's teeth. A reference to the mythological berserkers who sprang up from the earth wherever the teeth of the dragon Eris were planted. Dragon's teeth and husks bear little resemblance to other pieces of Geth technology. No one is sure why a synthetic race would bother to drain the minuscule amount of recoverable resources from organic corpses, though the value of reusing them as shock troops is obvious. So that's kind of like the Borg. All right. So we want to go to the spaceport. Um. Well. I guess we want to go there. Extreme Zoom! Alright. Let's 
get it. Oh wait, do we got upgrades? Oh, oh here we go. There's this dude. Saren. Oh shit. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Oh, shit. God damn. Can we, can we do an upgrade? is what I have now, so you have to hire one. Alright. Um. Mm, hurricane. Oh, there's the different levels. Okay. So, let's see. They have one that does 90. This one does 112. 101. A little bit less accurate, but more damage. Let's go for it. All right. And let's see. Hmm. Okay. So there's nothing new there. Comedy 2, nothing new. Heavy armor. Oh, I guess I can't do heavy armor. Okay. Um... Hmm. So none of my crew can do heavy armor. I guess I'll save it for now, though. Alright, so... Oh shit, there's someone else. Yo! What? Oh, that dude's almost dead. How do we heal? This is the first time I'm playing Mass Effects. Starting at chapter one, of course, so... Let's see, how do we do the heal? Do we just push circle? Does that heal the whole team? Um, triangle? Oh, okay, so it heals everybody at one time. Okay, cool. Yeah, that guy was almost dead, yo. Alright. 
Okay, so before we go down there, I think there was stuff to collect up here. Let's see. A game always throws me off when you can't jump. So far, I don't think you can jump in this game. Which I know that's fine, but I don't know. I just like to jump around in the game. You know what I mean? I like to hop around like a bunny. It's all right, though. Okay. See, like right now, I feel like, oh, I just put on over there and jump down. But nope, you got to follow the path. So that's kind of weird. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. I muted that, so you won't hurt sneeze. Alright. Oh, gotta sneeze again. Woo! Alright. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Everybody stay calm out there! We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. Hmm. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I like the storyline so far. It's interesting. I mean, I could play the game faster, but it's like, you know, I want to have the, enjoy the story, right? Let's see. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you got to learn when mm -hmm. to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just, I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Hand it over and I'll be on my way. Good luck. We're just a small farming colony. Why did they attack us? I came here to get away from the stress of living on Earth. Yeah. Hmm. Begin manual bypass. Hmm. Uh huh. Holding out on me, were you? All right. Okay, I'm starting to begin to understand this equipment kind of status. Let's see. So, Shepherdish, it's me. Let's see, my main thing's a sniper. Hmm. So this one has a bit more damage, uh, but it fires slower and the accuracy is a little bit low. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to scrap that one. I'm just wondering if I hit upgrades, what happens? Anything? No? Okay. Um, Alright, and let's see, though, I do what the new pistol they, they offered. So pistol, ooh, 132 damage. Let's 
see, 90, 101, yeah, we'll go for that bad boy, we'll go for that, let's see, Kaden, Ashley, a little bit more power, but the fire, I, I think the heat sink means, I'm a, I'm a I don't know. Red is bad, so I'm assuming that's not as... I don't know, though. That's weird. Green at the top is a smaller point, so is red the best? No, because look, a a accuracy, yeah, 59, so red means it's lower. So yeah, we're not going to give up that that um, heatsink capacity and accuracy for that. Nah, I said this ain't good. Let's see, anything else that's better? Nope, that's worse. Um... Better damage, a little slower, less accuracy. Ah, eh. uh, I don't. Let's see, what's the details here? Hmm. All right. Yeah, we're gonna leave her the way she is. All right, let's check out. Hating. Um, hmm. It is. I eh, will give this guy a try. All right. Oh, that's nice. How it automatically uh, transfers the upgrades to the new thing. That's cool. Yeah, really, that the same. Um. Yeah, we'll leave that the same. Alright. Okay. And we can't. Yeah, we don't get no points yet. Alright. Check out this map. Yeah, so we still are headed there. Um, Commander, so that's just an explosion. Let's check it out. So next time I see these things, let's, let's get behind some cover. All right. Let's just see what it does. All right, pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Up. Oh. Hmm. Yo, that was her buddy. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't, don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. What are you doing, sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Oh shit. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your mm. friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Hmm. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. 
Yeah, we get it. We get it. You hit and you survive. We get it. We understand. <laughs> right? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're oh. lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Choo choo! Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth oh, were swarming shit. over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. That's what she Landed said. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... And it was making this noise. This... This sound that bored right into your brain. Hey, we got one viewer. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Hmm. Well... We'll we go. need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. Yeah, I know. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. We thought this world was safe until the Geth showed up. Oh shit, there's people over there? The fuck are they? Uh huh. Still getting a little bit used to the combat system. Been playing first person shooter so often it's a little bit weird with third person now. I wonder, is there an option for for first person? I doubt it. I, I like this game so far. It's really fun and looks good, but this bothers me so much. Like, oh, look, let's just jump down. There's no jump. I can't climb around or jump over any walls. This game, I have laser gun technology and all kinds of stuff. However, like in this, in this feature, humans have bio, biotech, right? Telekinesis, shields, all this great technology. However, it was at the expense of losing how to jump. There's, there's no jump or climb button. But, yeah. 
I can do all this cool stuff, I just can't jump or climb. Ay -ay -ay. All right, so... Hmm. So, we're looking to get to the train. Oh, train station. So we are at the train station. Where's the choo-choo? Um... Hmm... How do we... How do we get to the train? Oh my goodness. Ah, there we go. See, if I could just jump down... R1 to bring special power wheel. Okay. Uh... Oh wait, we need a we need a target. Okay. Uh... Here we go. Oh, I used it without fucking even using it. What? Let's see. Oh shit! How the fuck do I? Hmm. What's this? U shield boost? Okay. Hey! Where's the rest of them? Well, I guess we have to advance. Alright! All I heard was gunshots! Ring out like a bell! Ah, uh, forget the fucking lyric. You did. Aha. Hmm. Yo, melee, melee! What the hell? Ay, ay, ay. Alright, now, hold on for a second. Was there something for me to pick up back here? A little bonus or something, maybe? Uh, there it is. So apparently the maximum is five. 
I'm curious. Oh, it lets, only lets you use it so often? Huh. Okay, all aboard. This is the train. Now what? Oh, activate. Alright. Look at that load screen, because it's PS5. is like loading. It loads so fast you can't even see the word loading. Awesome. <laughs> Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. I'm coming for you, bitch. Look at the load screen! It's a blink of the eye! PS5 fucking rocks. Yo, what the hell? Uh... Alright, so we gotta come down here. Look at the save and how Demolition fast that was. charges! The Geth must have planted them! Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down! Okay, I get it now. Alright. Shit. This one over here somewhere? Get out of there. Stop hiding. Oh shit. Oh shit. Three minutes. Okay, so we gotta go up here. Okay, we got three minutes to find the third one. Plenty of time, plenty of time, hopefully. Oh no, two more. Three charges, two more. Oh shit. Okay. Up. Okay, one more after this. Oh shit. Oh shit, there's one more. I see something here. Shit. Where's the other charge? Oh, there it is. Somewhere down here. Alright, alright, go, 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 go. Got it. Okay, now we gotta get to the beacon. Shit. Oh 
Oh shit, there it is. Now what? There's the bacon. Mm, I love bacon. Oh, bacon. Okay. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Oh, shit. that nice first trophy of the game boom what's up Saren you bitch the touchdown on Eden Prime the Normandy a human alliance vessel it was under the command of Captain Anderson they managed to save the colony and the beacon one of the humans may have used it. What's up, bitch? What's up, little bitch? This human must be eliminated. Well, hello, cleavage. <laughs> All right. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. What's up? Wicked clowns never die. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About fifteen hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Huh. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. That's what she said. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. 
You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Alright, I'm gonna pause for about five minutes, so if you need to take a bathroom break, take a bathroom break, because that's what I'm gonna do.
All right, like so over headphones back on. Activate the uh, controller here. All right, back in the game. Is anybody still watching? We got one viewer. All righty. All right, let's see. I'm just checking my messages real quick. Anything? Uh, just trophy. Okay, let's see what we're doing now. All right. Okay, so we can just kind of walk around, explore a little bit. What's this? All right. Let's see. The Citadel is an ancient deep space station. Spec. The Citadel is an ancient deep space station, presumably constructed by the Protheans. Since the Prothean extinction, mm -hmm. numerous species have come to call the Citadel home. It serves as the political, cultural, and financial capital of the galactic community. Mm -hmm. To represent their interests, most species maintain embassies on the Presidium, the Citadel's inner ring. The Citadel Tower in the center of the Presidium holds the Citadel Council Chambers. Council affairs often have far-reaching effects on the rest of the galactic community. Five arms, known as the wards, extend from the Presidium. Their inner surfaces have been built into cities, populated by millions of inhabitants from across the galaxy. The Citadel is virtually indestructible. If attacked, the station can close its arms to form a solid, impregnable shell. For as long as the station has existed, an enigmatic race called the Keepers has maintained it. Spectre Okay, there's an, uh, a new one. Combat hard suits use a dual layer system to protect the wearer. The inner layer oh, no, it's Medigel. Medigel is a common medicinal salve used by paramedics, EMTs. Okay, yeah, yeah, we know what medical medical gel is. Anything else in here? Uh, secondary. All right. Find the beacon, no shit. Speak to the Joker, all right. Ashley, Kading. Okay, this is a little different. I was playing Fallout for a while, so I'm used to picking up everything. <laughs> so, I kind of like not having to pick up everything, though. It's kind of annoying to have to pick up a thousand pieces per game. Alright. Fallout's a good game, though. Okay, here we go. Hey, hey what's Commander. up? I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. There's nothing special about me, Williams. Anyone would have done the same. Held off an entire enemy platoon? Alone? <laughs> With all due respect, Commander, I think you've got somebody watching over you. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Okay, so I came from there. Is that the dot? What's up, Doc? Yes, Commander? 
Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. Hmm. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, uh. crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. I think that's it. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Okay. Earth always seemed... I wanted to... But humanity needs the Alliance if we All want right. to keep expanding through the I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. So, oh, that's it. Okay, these are non-important NPCs because they can't even be talked to. All right. Oh, did I miss? This person? No, we talked to her already. Alright. We got an elevator. So. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Alright, so I guess that's all I'm talking to. Oh, there's a little X, so... Curiosity. Huh. Alright. Uh huh.
Reminds me I need a haircut. I cut my own hair, I'm gonna cut my hair like that. Alright. The Normandy vehicle bay using squad members locker allows you to sign equipment to them. New equipment may be purchased from the requisition officer. Hmm. Hey commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? Why do I gotta purchase it? It's like I'm part of the military. The military doesn't make you buy your own bullets. What have you got? What? We'll Whatever see. you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Ah, the black well, market. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hmm. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me... I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Hmm. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. Interesting. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic <laughs> items will be stocked consistently. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Hmm. So let's see. Oh, 18,750? I got 1,580. <laughs> oh boy. I don't got enough money to buy any of this stuff yet. Increases maximum units of Medigel by one. Okay, I think that's that's worthwhile. Biotics is the ability of elements. Omni tools are handheld devices that combine a computer microframe, sensor analysis pack, and mini factoring fabricator. Versatile and reliable, 
An Omni tool can be used to analyze and adjust the functionality of most standard equipment, including weapons and armor, from a distance. The element zero can increase or decrease the mass of a volume of space-time when subjected to an electrical current. Hmm. With a positive current, mass is increased. With a negative current, mass is decreased. The stronger the current, the greater the magnitude of the dark energy mass effect. In space, low mass fields, biotics, Where the hell's the fucking mission, dude? Huh. To deck one, to deck three, to deck one. Speak to the Joker, go to the cockpit. Alright, so we're looking for the cockpit. Whoops. I guess deck one might be where the uh, cockpit is. I don't know. Let's find out. Hmm, so I'm already at deck one. No? Okay. I don't fucking know. Uh. Ah, the bridge. There we go. What's this? Oh, okay. Where the hell is the Joker at? God damn it! Good timing, oh. Commander. Duh. Was just about to bring us into yeah, the Citadel. I didn't see him. See that taxpayer right. money at work. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422.
This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony! The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Okay, give me one second. about Saren's their top agent. They don't want to be made of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. The Citadel is an ancient deep space. The Council is an executive committee composed of representatives from the Asari Republics, the Turian Hierarchy, and the Salarian Union. Though they have no official power over the independent governments of other species, the Council's decisions carry great weight throughout the galaxy. No single Council race is strong enough to defy the other two, and all have a vested interest in compromise and cooperation. Each of the Council species has general characteristics associated with the various aspects of governing the galaxy. The Asari are typically seen as diplomats and mediators. The Salarians gather intelligence and information. The Turians provide the bulk of the military and peacekeeping forces. Any species granted an embassy on the Citadel is considered an associate member, bound by the accords of the Citadel conventions. Associate members may bring issues to the attention of the Council, though they have no input on the decision. The Human Systems Alliance became an associate member of the Citadel in 2165. Yep, just had a... my glasses there for a second. Uh. All right. Bull Saren. Go to the tower. Okay, what do we got here? Hmm. What's that? Oh, Saren. Divina. Hmm. Oh, wait. At the top, Presidium? Does it change? No? Hmm. Oh, what is the... Point of interest. Okay. All right. So there's three points of interest. 
So we might as well go to the closest one, obviously. Ah, pretty sweet graphics. All right. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. So it's that direction. Hmm. Oh, the lack of jumping is just bothering me. All right, so. Hmm. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the ah, right. It's the opera singer race of the fifth element. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Hmm? What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel uh -huh. free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. What's your name? Oh, same My thing. name is Sephiria. Okay. I'm the administrative assistant. You seem to be the distracted. embassies are the hub of all, all right. Citadel politics. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Okay. okay. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow Aha. me to be your guide. What's up? Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Hold on one moment. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, I'm gonna diet and my calories are done for the day, but man, I'm hungry. But I'm gonna resist. Ah. Uh, Alright. Let's see here. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC. F-12! Individuals from F12. virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. Hmm. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. 
Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Hmm. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. How come the Bolas were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable mm. to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is hand-picked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind huh? of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Okay, I guess that's it. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. So we were there, points of interest. So we got two more points of interest. So we're gonna go maybe here? That's just a Vina, a Vina though. Oh, that's just a store. Plot is exclamation point. Um, hmm. 
Well, Diane, I'm not sure where to go. I mean, it says here, expose Saren. You have to prove this to the Citadel Council that Saren, one of their Spectre agents, have gone rogue. Huh. Aha! Click on it. Go to the tower. Okay. Okay, there we go. That was helpful. Alright, so let's see. Where's the tower? There's the bank. Ah, that's where we want to go. Alright, and we might as well see if she says anything different there. Okay. Alrighty. Hello, arachnid type alien. What's up? Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the Spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere mm. with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Keepers? I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire What if entire they're enslaved? Station. Citadel regulations protect the Keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the tower. Never played the game before. This is not a spoiler alert. Pure guess. I mean, they could just be decoration. But what if the Keepers are like the original people of the technology and somehow they got enslaved? I think they're slaves. Something's going on with those keepers, man. But let's see. Any particular reason there are so many keepers in this area? The keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. <sighs> the keepers also make frequent appearances in the council mm. chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. Tell me about the relay monument. Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the relay monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. What is the meaning behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of their conquest of the galaxy through mass relay technology? Or perhaps it is a symbol of unity? A Prothean acknowledgement that the relays would eventually lead other species here to the Citadel. No one can say for sure, making the relay monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. Tell me about the Citadel Tower. Housing both the Council Chambers and Citadel Control, 
The tower is one of the most important buildings on the station. Access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate clearance. What happens in Citadel Control? Citadel Control they control things. All incoming and outbound transit. Every ship within 2,000 kilometers of the Citadel is under the jurisdiction of Citadel Control. At peak capacity, they are responsible for monitoring upwards of a thousand vessels. I'd like to hear more about the Council Chambers. The business of the Council, which often has far-reaching effects on the galactic community, is conducted in a room at the apex of the Citadel Tower. The Council Chambers themselves are truly a magnificent sight to behold, though few get to experience the view in person. Typically, only the counselors, ambassadors, and high-ranking officials, along with various support staff, are allowed access. What if someone has business with the council? The average citizen must go through the proper channels if they wish an audience with the council. This is usually arranged through their respective ambassadors. Even then, few are given mm. access to the actual council chambers. In most cases, the ambassador acts on behalf of the citizen. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm scheduled to have an audience with the council. Only a handful of visitors to the Citadel are ever granted that privilege. Huh? I would be jealous, but that is outside the scope of my programming. <laughs> That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Ah, look at those sunlight rays. Alright. We going in the right direction? Yeah, we just missed it, so we gotta turn around and go there. Okay. So we're turning around. And we going up, 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 and away. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Ooh, I like Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. I like this guy. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the council waiting. You don't want to keep the council waiting. Ha. All right, so straight line, pretty straightforward. Ah, uh -huh. straightforward. Get it? Keeper, have they enslaved you with that little backpack and that's a mind control device? I bet all these staircases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions if this place is ever attacked. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. 
Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Hmm. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. You bastard! This is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here, but I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. Hmm. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't Where's have the to. captain's line? I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. Hmm. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. Damn it. I said that already. I know how the world... But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. 
He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence. Our ambassador doesn't He's seem just to frustrated. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Hmm. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Hmm. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The Embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC mm. officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes. But it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in I should go. Now. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need me. The Asari, the second species to join the Citadel, the Salarians are warm-blooded amphibians with a hyperactive metabolism. Salarians think fast, talk fast, and move fast. To Salarians, other species seem sluggish and dull-witted. Unfortunately, their metabolic speed leaves them with a relatively short lifespan. Salarians over the age of 40 are a rarity. The Salarians were responsible for advancing the development of the primitive Krogan species to use as soldiers during the Rachni Wars. They were also behind the creation of the Genophage bioweapon the Turians used to quell the Krogan Rebellion several centuries later. Salarians are known for their observational capability and non-linear thinking. This manifests as an aptitude for research and espionage. They are constantly experimenting and inventing, and it is generally accepted that they always know more than they are letting on. Roughly... The Geth. When the Asari discovered the Citadel, they also discovered the Keepers. A docile, multi-limbed insect race that seemingly exists only to maintain and repair the great Prothean station. Early attempts to communicate with or study the Keepers were failures, and it is now illegal to interfere with or impede Keeper activity. Because they are completely non-threatening, Keepers have become virtually invisible to everyone else. Similarly, they seem indifferent to other species, except for their tendency to help new arrivals integrate themselves into the Citadel. No matter how many Keepers die due to old age, violence, or accident, they maintain a constant number. No one has discovered the source of new Keepers, but some hypothesize they are genetic constructs. Biological androids created somewhere deep in the inaccessible core of the Citadel itself. So they are like slaves in Oi. The Volus are a member species of the Citadel with their own embassy, but they are also a client race of the Turians. Centuries ago, they were voluntarily absorbed into the hierarchy, effectively trading their mercantile prowess for Turian military protection. Erun, their homeworld, lies far beyond the normal life zone of its star. However, the world has a high-pressure greenhouse atmosphere that traps enough heat to support an ammonia-based biochemistry. As a result, the Volus must wear pressure suits and breathers when dealing with other species, as conventional nitrogen-oxygen air mixtures are poisonous to them, and in the low-pressure atmospheres tolerable to most species, their flesh will actually split open. Volus culture is tribal, bartering lands and even people to gain status. This culture of exchange inclines them to economic pursuits, it was the Volus who authored the Unified Banking Act. Yep, missing something. What am I missing? There we go. Biotics is the... A virtual intelligence is an advanced form of user interface software. VIs use a variety of methods to simulate natural conversation, including an audio interface and an avatar personality to interact with. Although a VI can provide a convincing emulation of sentience, 
they are not self-aware, nor can they learn or take independent action. VIs are used as operating systems on commercial and home computers. Minimal VI agents are also available. Agents are compact and specialized. Some serve as personal secretaries, filtering calls and scheduling meetings based on user-defined priorities. Others are advanced search engines, propagating themselves across the extranet to collate user-requested data. Commercial VIs in a variety of stock personalities are available at any software retailer. Boutique firms and hobbyists also build unique VIs to personal specification. Although software emulation of living personalities is illegal, reconstructions of famous historical figures are common. Mass relays are feats of Prothean engineering advanced far beyond the technology of any living species. They are enormous structures scattered throughout the stars and can create corridors of virtually mass-free space, allowing instantaneous transit between locations separated by years or even centuries of travel using conventional FTL drives. Primary mass relays can propel ships thousands of light years, often from one spiral arm of the galaxy to another. However, they have fixed one-to-one -one connections. A primary relay connects to one other primary relay and nowhere else. Secondary relays can only propel ships across a few hundred light years. However, they are omnidirectional. A secondary relay can send a ship to any other relay within its limited range. There are many dormant primary relays whose corresponding twins have not yet been located. These are left inactive until their partner is charted. As established civilizations are unwilling to blindly open a passage that might connect them to a hostile species. All right. What am I missing? Ah, the secondary. All right, let's see. Hmm. 20 hour day schedule, wow. Six hour night. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so this one says investigate Saren. You need some proof. Hmm. Garrus, speak to Harkin. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go for that one. And and where is he at? Um. Plur's Den. All right. So Plur's Den. We gotta go downstairs again. Alright. Hmm. 
Plur's den in the lower wards. The lower ward. Plur's den. Hmm. Two wards access. Okay. Must be there. Citadel regulations. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Hmm. Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Hmm. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth hmm. should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. Please let this one know if success is achieved. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Hmm. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. If I purchased the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of that Hanar. Hmm. I'm assuming you buy a permit at a store, so we'll see. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth.
Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. Hmm. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Who are you? This one's fate. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Hmm. The Geth, the Hanar, are a citadel species known for excessive politeness. They speak with scrupulous precision and take offense at improper language. Hanar that expect to deal with other species take special courses to help them unlearn their tendency to take offense at improper speech. All Hanar have two names. The face name is known to the world. The soul name is kept for use among close friends and relations. Hanar never refer to themselves in the first person in conversation with someone they know on a face name basis. To do so is considered egotistical. So instead, they refer to themselves as this one, or the impersonal it. Their homeworld, Kajay, has 90% ocean cover and orbits an energetic white star, resulting in a permanent blanket of cloud. Due to the presence of Prothean ruins on the world, many Hanar worship them, and Hanar myths often speak of an elder race that civilized them by teaching them language. Hmm. Interesting. Big place. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? I'll keep working on it. This one will continue to spread its message. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of... Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. If I purchase the evangelical permit... As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would mm. solve the issue for me. I don't care what you have to do. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I've argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Hmm. Any progress with that Hanar? Sorry, I'll let you know if I come up with something. I don't care what the something is, as long as it... Ri Any progress with that Hanar? You're suppressing that Hanar's religious freedom. I want you to stop. I should have known that a human wouldn't respect the laws of the Citadel. 
Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. I'll be back. Hmm. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of that Hanar. Well, we'll save that for later. Let's go to the back to the main mission. So we want the lower wards. Alright. Hmm. Hey, sir, what time is it? In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. Hmm. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. <laughs> Good. He's a dangerous man. Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. Hmm. To the wards. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. And that's what she said. What? That your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station. It's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? No wonder the Council treats us like outsiders. We'd be just another drop in a bucket they already can't carry. They must figure us for one more gang of FNGs looking for a handout. I doubt it's personal. It's got to be a balancing act, like every other government. All right, secure the chatter. We're all FNGs here, but we don't need to make it obvious. Aye, aye, Commander. Hmm. Commander Shepard, excuse me. 
Excuse me. I'm Emily so. Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I've read your file. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillian Blitz. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Mm, that's what she said. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Hmm. Well, as long as we're here, maybe this is where you buy your permit? I don't know. Let's give it a try. Don't mind me, I'm just listening. Discussing with the Volus. Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked yeah, for right. before she left to. Ugh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem uh -huh. is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. That's you know, I want to go. eavesdropping on the people there. Nice. If they find out what she's doing. Killer. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. What's up, buddy? Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some Quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. Hmm? 
I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. <laughs> We've got some quasar stations. Uh -huh. uh, if you're interested. What can you tell me about the sisters working for you? Well, Jenna left to work at Cora's den. Now her sister Rita is all worried she might be in some kind of trouble. Not much chance Jenna will change her mind, though. She's a stubborn one. If she wanted to come back, I'd take her in a second. The customers loved her. Okay. I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Can we win some money, or are we going to lose our money? Mm. This is about... Oh! Hmm... Okay... What the hell are we trying to do here? Four to seven, one to eight. Uh... Four. Oh, wait, what are you trying to get do? I forget now. Fuck. Uh, uh, wait a minute. How do I get out of here? What are the rules? Okay. Get the closest to 20 without going over. Okay. Alright. So closest to 20. Alright. So 4 plus 7. 7 plus 11 is, is 18. Let's try that one side. 17. Pay out or keep going? We're going to go for it. Oh, wait. But 1 to 8. So... One, two, three. Three out of eight chance. Let's go for it. I like to live dangerously. No payout. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll uh, even it out. Minus 200 credits one. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hello. All right, now I'm a hundred ahead. All right. Uh, uh. Hmm. Oh. Okay. One more time. So, all right, we'll quit. Is this a different type of game, or are they all the same? Let's see, is this a different one? Low stakes. Ah, I see. Ah, suspicious gambling machine. Hmm. I think somebody rigged this machine to funnel credits through the system. Let me trace a signal. Hmm. <laughs> Drinks and dancing down below, gambling up above. Good place to blow off some steam. Hmm. 
The signal seems to be coming from Ward's access corridor. Ward's access corridor. Hmm. Interesting game so far, so that little gambling led me to a new storyline plot. Up, bud. Look how fast that loaded. Do you see that shit? PS5 is like, it loads so fast you can't even read the word loading. <laughs> awesome. Guess. Hmm. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this bottle. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place! Now, are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. Huh? I'm sorry, Ben. I can't help you. But, what, what do you... Can't help you. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. I'm supposed to collect licenses, so... Alright. Hmm. Is that really... Oh, wow! It's you! What's You're up? Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime! I'm right. so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are... My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? 
I don't have time for this, Conrad. I'm not here to be a role model. Oh, I see how it is. Commander Shepard doesn't have time for the little people. Nope, Far I be just... It for me to uh -huh. get in your way. You go be a hero. Nope, I don't trust that guy. I'm not giving him my signature. That could have been a, a trap, in my opinion. Sup, Moreland? Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You hey, want how's it going? Supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Ah, Flora's Den, well, let's check it out. That's him. Shots are the best shots. Area secured. A lot of traffic here. How fast do you think those cars are going? Oh, I don't get to inspect their dead bodies. I feel cheated. All right. Got some squad stuff. All right, let's see. I'll charm away in some places. And let's see, what's this? Hmm. Secure objects. I like that. So let's see, what's this? Electronics, shields, armor. Let's go for this stuff, man. Uh, let's see. Max that out. All right. Hey, let's see this dude. Let's do. First aid. Forgot one. There we go. Let's see. So, so health combat. Okay. Hmm. Let's do. Let's make her 
let's do her. We're gonna do her pretty even. We're gonna have her be a, an even, even skilled person. Okay. There we go. Armor. Hmm. Upgrade. Ooh, hello. Protects from radiation, gases, hosts from toxins. Yeah, we'll do that, big boy. to live here hmm? <laughs> so instead of holding that you want to tap it kind of like in GTA I think oh hello what kind of club is this well hello there Well, I'm going to go to the bathroom and get a drink. We'll see if this does anything by the time I get back. Like, apparently, it was just for decoration. I was hoping it was going to unlock some kind of mission, but that's all right. All right. I'll be back in about two minutes. So if you got to take a break, now's the time to take a break. I'm just going to pour myself a tall glass of water, as far as you know. soon is like do a boxing workout for like 30 minutes so I can burn off like three to four hundred calories just so I can eat more food. <laughs> I don't exercise to get in shape the way I do. Actually I just be able to eat more food. Right, let me remind this little food. Remind me of eleven thirty PM to do a thirty minute boxing workout so I can eat more food. Alright. Alright, let's see here. Get myself a beverage. Oh, this will go for ginseng tea. I mean, a green tea with ginseng and lemon. Eric, come back to the game. Playing in about 30 seconds. Calm down. All right. All right, this seems like a unnecessary part of the game but okay I mean if it would do more than this it'd be like yeah but I thought she'd get on my lap or something told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? Mm? I'm standing right here. <laughs> this is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Mm. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Hmm. The Geth are a humanoid race of ne The Krogan evolved in a hostile and vicious environment. Until the invention of gunpowder weapons, eaten by predators was still oh. the number one cause of Krogan fatalities. Afterwards, it was death by gunshot. Uh -huh. When the Salarians discovered them, the Krogan were a brutal, primitive species, struggling to survive a self-inflicted nuclear winter. The Salarians culturally uplifted them, teaching them to use and build modern technology so they could serve as soldiers in the Rachni War. Liberated from the harsh conditions of their homeworld, the quick-breeding Krogan experienced an unprecedented population explosion. 
they began to colonize nearby worlds. Even though these worlds were already inhabited, uh. the Krogan rebellions lasted nearly a century, only ending when the Turians unleashed the Genophage, a Salarian-developed bioweapon that crushed all Krogan resistance. The mm. Genophage makes only one in a thousand pregnancies viable, mm. and today the Krogan are a slowly dying breed. Understandably, the Krogan harbor a grudge against all other species, mm. especially the Turians. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, perhaps. Okay, talk to Jenna. Where's Jenna? Well, fuck you too. Not now. I don't want to show. I bet you are. That's huh. So Jen is in here somewhere, right? Where is Jenna? Oh, oh! Saw her name pop up. There she is. Wait, there she is. All right. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Uh. Charming girl. I'm busy. The other waitress is going to help you. Hmm. Now what? Return to Rita. Huh. Not now, I'm busy. A million light years from where humanity began, and we uh. walk into a bar filled with men drooling over half naked women shaking their asses on the stage. Ha ha! Decide if that's funny or sad. What? I think it's you funny. You think they're here because of the food? I got business here, but not with you. Human military, huh? Not now. Why don't you go watch the dancers? Okay, here we go. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> You must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down. And I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Oh shit! Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Oh shit! You know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Hmm. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. But it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station <laughs> love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread <laughs> around. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? The executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bust, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. Wait a minute. Hmm. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown nosers. Huh? What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean what? Ever Skim a couple of credits off a drug bust? Note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it in peace. Hmm. Might be able to help you against Saren. Go to the med clinic. Okay. What's up with this dude? Yo, what's up, man? The back rooms are private. Reserved for Fist and his friends. Hmm. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Hmm. What did that other Krogan want? Rex? Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Go to the med clinic. Okay. Can't we see the different levels? Ah, oh, that sucks. Wait. Huh. I wish I could go up and down on the map, but I guess you can't, so... I think the med clinic was in the upper levels? I think. Wait a minute. Rapid transit. I wonder if I can fast travel now. Let's find out. I see why this place is so popular. It's got quite the Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a specter? It's not true. Parkin's an ass. But he's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Still, we'd like to hear what the captain has to say about all this. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. Hmm? What was that about? I guess we'd better go find out. Aha! The plot thickens. I like this game so far. A lot of it's like like the the Witcher, for example, was a fun game, but like the side missions seemed like boring. You know, it was like, oh, go go save a chicken. These side missions are like a story that I'm interested in.
All right, so let's see. Meet him at Seasick Academy. Hmm. All right, so we still want to go up. Oh shit, I'm over here? No, I don't want to go there. Uh, shit. Still getting used to the map system on this thing. A lot of traffic here. How fast do you think those cars are going? Hmm. Hey, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. I have just liked this game a little bit better now. Screw walking around. Okay, so... Let's see. Park to Shillock. Uh-huh. The C-section academy. The C-section. The C-sec academy. I told you meet him at the C-sec academy. Oh wait, what was the medical mission? That was another uh, another one. Um. Okay, so that. Ooh, losing track. Let's let's look at all these here real quick. Okay. So, okay, so that's the main mission, the med clinic. All right, so we're since we're there, let's check this out. Hmm. So wait. So, went to the med clinic in the upper wards to follow up a leader in Slammerin. Go to the med clinic. Okay. So, we want to go there. That's a point of interest. Um, Alright. So, that's where we want to go. Alright. Oh, but you know what? There's other dudes down here, so we might as well go down here. Look who's this dude? Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Yep. I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Mm. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. 
like those Han are. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. What do you know about the Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. Hmm. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? Hmm. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. God damn it. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. Okay, so we're gonna go back to this one. Okay, meet him at the CSEC Academy if you wanted to help Jenna. Okay, so CSEC Academy. Here we go. Right. Ah. Uh, so that's probably the spot. Yep. There we go. I don't know why it just can't be like a normal game and where the explanation point is. It shows up in the compass automatically. Right? you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm... Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. Hmm. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and... He started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. Hmm. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Well, good luck. Hmm. Interesting. Hello, Commander. Aha. Uh -huh. Yo, what's up, buddy? Oh, where was he? 
Ah, there he is. Detective Chunk, come into my office. I want to discuss this. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Excuse me? You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were there to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. <clears throat> Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it, but since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always playing the angles, detective? As part mm. of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? Uh, I need the charm. Hmm, interesting. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm mm. trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. I mean, Thanks to Jenna's intel, to I've learned there's a <laughs> seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Mm. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these No. Are. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Still in the lower words markets. Hmm. Yep. Okay, both missions are in the same place. That's convenient. We're going to do this one first. All right. Let's get one of those fast travel thingies. Aw. No fast travel. Really? Me like you fast travel. Mm. Elevator music. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Markets. God damn it. How do we get there? 
That says upper wards. Mm. What's this? Uh -huh. You think it's expensive to live here? Well, we're right there, so we might as well, uh, do this one, since we're near the mission. Ooh, a fast travel place, too. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go! Oh shit! Got him. Hostile contact. Ah! Stick your head out, punk. Come on. I think we're good, Commander. You can keep the Presidium. This is where the action is. A lot of traffic. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter mm. named Rex to take him out. 
Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Oh, hello. Add to the squad. Huh. So, just... Oh, so I can have three at a time. Okay. Combat. Eh, just do it. Interesting. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. You're a doctor. How did my you parents, my father... I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't Let my me take idea. a look at what you have for sale. Of course. For sale? I saved your life. Give it to me for free, duck buddy. What What the hell is this? <laughs> oh. Yes, Commander. Is I didn't there something know that was I can do for you? Exit. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Sale. All right. Hmm. Wow, look at that one. Holy crap. Um, am I gonna spend no well, seventy bucks ain't much. Seven hundred though. One point five. For half a point more, more, I don't think it's worth ten times the cost. I'll just get, just get this one. All right. Ooh, ten. All right. What do we want to do for this dude? Train agent. Um. The Geth are a human... Driven from their home system by the Geth nearly three centuries ago, most Quarians now live aboard the Migrant Fleet, a flotilla of 50,000 vessels ranging in size from passenger shuttles to mobile space stations. Home to 17 million Quarians, the flotilla understandably has scarce resources. Because of this, each Quarian must go on a rite of passage known as the Pilgrimage mm. when they come of age. They leave the fleet and only return once they have found something of value they can bring back to their people. Other species tend to look down on the Quarians for creating the Geth and for the negative impact mm. their fleet has when it enters a system. Interesting. This has led to many myths and rumors about the Quarians, including the belief that underneath their clothes and breathing masks, they are actually cybernetic creatures, a combination of organic and synthetic parts.
Okay, I messed up. I didn't read it. Okay. CSEC Academy. Alright. Nice. What's this? If you feel lucky, we should visit the casino over in the rocks. To me! You can keep the Presidium. This is where the action is. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. Mm. I will kill him. Ha <laughs> ha. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> What's up, Toad Man? Go on. Get out of here. <clears throat> Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Hmm? Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill <laughs> Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy. Oh. And you will find a friend. I think we're going to get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Yo, Ashley Williams does not have much of uh, biotic strength or tech strength, but she has hell of a combat strength, so that's good. All right, let's do it. Ooh, yeah, let's see what he's going to do. Um...
Oh, it did all of them? Where are we going? Oh, oh Rex has joined the crew. Okay. Oh. Um. Hmm. down fist. Okay. Thor's den. Lower wards. Alright. Entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Hers den. Hmm. It took almost six hours and we only saw one tenth of the ship. I even got to meet the commander. Matriarch Ladanya? You met her? Well, she addressed everyone on the tour, but I got pretty close. Ah. What's up, Bix? 
Fist. Seems the owner didn't like the way you played their games. Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. And yet here you are, cheater. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system. Others. Does the device help me win? The device is set to mm -hmm. a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let uh? you out. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. You go. That data won't collect itself. Hmm? again for looking into this. Don't often see someone getting as lucky as you. Your luck seems unnatural, human. Huh. Places like 
this, I always want to hire Krogan bouncers. It's like we're a status. Hello again. Just passing through. Enjoy your time here at Flux. I need to speak with you uh -huh. a moment. You've got the same device Shells had earlier. Did he give it to you, or did you take it from him? Never mind. It doesn't matter how you got it. But I can't let you keep it. I don't think you're gonna take it from me. Don't make a scene, Commander. I've already recovered the credits you won. Now... I suggest you stick to playing the game fairly, or not at all. I'm watching you. No more tricks, or you'll be out on your ass, too. Hmm. five wounds with the device yet? Doran caught me cheating and took it from me. But that was years of work. What am I gonna do now? Maybe you should put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. Ugh. What am I gonna do now? A lot of traffic here. How fast do you think those... Hold it right there. Just throw me the data and you can walk away. Drop your weapons, now. I don't think so, human. I'll ask you one more time. Give me the data and you and Jalid will live to see another day. There's no need to let things get out of hand. Fine. 
Have it your way. Boys? Enemy sighted. God damn it. Whoa! Oh, why is it just shooting? Midage will deploy. Wait, I give up. I give up. What's up Please bitch? don't kill me. What's so important about this data? Why are you trying to get it? I thought you knew. He said you were going to deliver it. And what exactly was I supposed to be delivering? It's the initial data from scanning the keepers. You see, we stole some research from our work to make the scanners. We were supposed to work together. I get the data, he analyzes it. What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. But it doesn't matter now. I just want to live. I don't care if I ever see that data again. So how do you gather data on the Keepers? It's not difficult, really. Just get within range and scan them. You seem interested. Enough to help me, perhaps? How could I help you? I'll give you my scanner. Whenever you see a Keeper, scan it. Discreetly. Mm. My database will update automatically each time you scan a unique Keeper. Then I'll update your account with a few credits. If it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Hmm. You think it's expensive to live here? Ah, zero of twenty. Interesting.
only five. Ooh, that's for me. Um, do this one. Light armor, human. I don't know what I can do with Omni Gel, but I'm sure I can do something with it, so yeah. Jen, we're gonna give her this one. All right, and oh, what did I get on my reminder here? Ah, do a 30-minute work on boxing. If I do that, I can eat more food. It's a fun game. Be up, like, follow, subscribe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off here and a little bit to exercise and eat more food. I'll be back on later, but. We actually will stay on for a little bit longer. Let's see, what do we want to do before we get off? Um, what was that? Make the pickup. Hmm. Aren't we done with this now? Hold it. That's close enough, Army. Hmm. You got my payment? Do you have the X-Mods? Show them the merchandise. <clears throat> that looks about right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. I can always use some mods. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, uh, give it to them. Okay. So where are we going to go? Um... Academy. Was 
this one. All right, so we're gonna go here first. And are there any of those guys to scan though? Let's see. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... Hmm? Uh, you're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Hmm? Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so Hey, I. I made peace. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. All right. You can tell this is a good game, because I have stuff to do, but I want to keep on going. That is the definition of a good game, like, oh, I'll just go a little bit more, I'll go a little bit more, I'll go a little bit more. So yeah, this game's tight, definitely. Definitely worth the purchase. I'm only on game one, this is a trilogy, holy shit. Commander, right, here we go. I hear you have something for me. <clears throat> Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Nice. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Nice. Let's see here. What do we got? Come crowns. That's 132. 135. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so that's done. These are the ones that are complete. Let's see, sort by name, sort by oldest, sort by newest. I think sort by oldest. Hmm. 
I guess the newest. Wait. Oldest. Profit. How can they both be oldest and newest? That's weird. Oldest scarce, newest. Hmm. Coming from the ward's access corridor. Let's see what the hell that is. Hmm, the ward's access corridor. Hmm. Reports are circulating that Alliance Ambassador Udina has accused a specter of orchestrating the attack on Eden Prime. Udina reportedly based his accusation. Access corridor? To the low wards. Maybe this is what they mean by access corridor? Alleyway? Give it a try.
How the hell do I get to the alleys? What? Okay, so right there. So no right. Yo, look, that looks like a passage. Right? That looks like right here there should be a passage to my left. But yet what in the hell? Look at this shit. Look at the, what the fuck kind of map is this? Well, this is getting pretty confusing. It's like... What is going on here? So it doesn't have a path here on the map where I'm, I'm seeing it. So maybe I can try here? This path, maybe? Um... Hmm. Oh boy. So confused. Singer seems to be coming from the ward's access corridor. Upper wards. Alright, let's try the lower wards. this be the corridors? I don't know. Ward access corridor. It doesn't... Is it here? It doesn't have an explanation point, which usually does. Okay. Oh shit, there's a bunch of them.
Dude, what's up? Here it comes. Incoming! I need help here. All patched up. Damn it. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! Hmm... This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never liked Fist anyway. Haha. <laughs> it would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Oh shit.
Why can't I aim? There we go. Wait! Don't What's kill up, me, bitch? I surrender. Tell me where the quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the shadow broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the shadow broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Drop the gun, Krogan. The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. He has plus one health. What's this? 18% shield recovery. Here's request. Deliver information. Upper level wards. Okay, we'll go there first. Set up a trap for coin. You have to get the alley. Ah, so we gotta go to the alley. 
Oh, fucking, that's the thing I have a hard time getting to. How the hell do I get to the alley? Fuck. Fuck, how do I get to the alley? Towards. Hmm. Okay, it's 135, 126, I see things there. All right. Get ready. The battle, baby. Main mission battle. Saren's agents have killed the Corian. Low circle. Oh, shit. There's a time limit on that shit. Well, fuck. Uh, let's try this one. Well, holy fuck. Okay. Oh, there's the fucking timer in the fucking corner, duh. Alright. Okay, real quick, real quick. Squad, real quick here. Oh shit. Um. Here we go, here we go. Where's the fucking... Okay, we got three minutes and three, four seconds. Let's do it! Let's get it! Shit!
shit. Now what? We got two minutes. Fuck, how do we get to the alleys? Oh, shit. Oh fuck, I can't use fast travel during a mission? What the fuck? Are you serious? What the hell? What the hell? Oh, this is not fair. Okay, there we go, there we go. Now, 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 now. Oh yes, yes, we're coming there. Okay, switch the sniper because it's far away. Here we go. Oh shit. Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Oh shit. We shooting at just set me up okay. i knew i couldn't trust him were you hurt in the fight i know how to look after myself not that i don't appreciate the help who are you my name's shepherd i'm looking for evidence to prove saren's a traitor then i have a chance to repay you for saving my life but not here Boom. Need to go somewhere safe the ambassador's office it's safe there I want to see this anyway. <laughs> oh, shit. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many. Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars. Only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? 
Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Ah, uh, who's the traitor? Somebody's a fucking traitor, I know it. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. It's the fucking captain? Who the fuck is that? And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Who is that? Who's talking? I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Hmm. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They won't believe you anyway. Just keep them out of this. We have to tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? Uh. My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Hmm. Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Henderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Plus 45 shields. Recovery. I'm gonna go for it. plus 45. Let's see. Let's see a cut toxin resistance. Just her though. Okay. 
Okay. So let's see. I mean, let's max out her specialty, right? Why not? That's her specialty. All right. And we'll do these evenly. Fifth's office. Hmm. Fifth's office. Oh, you tricky bastard. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. What's up, bitch? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Narali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. I don't think have anything Welcome new to, to say. Presidium Tourism Terminal On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters What of can you tell me about the Citadel Tower? Originally, the Council... Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of okay, the galactic the community. While pres Goodbye, and thank you for using Vina. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Bacha. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. 
You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Hmm. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Hey, what's up? I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Huh? Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... She's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! I bet you did too. Shut up, Fredericks. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I could do for you? Calm down, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with things. <laughs> you never went to see her, did you, Private? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Tell me again what you'd been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. Where can I find this Mr. Bosker? He was in the expensive bar over there. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. 
If the military had asked your wife to submit to tests to save human lives, what would she have said? It doesn't matter. She's dead! Yes, she is, Mr. Batia. She died fighting for what she believed in. She sacrificed her life to keep you safe. I think she'd want to make the most of that sacrifice. You're right, Miss Williams. She would not flinch from her duty. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. You're welcome. Combat heart, kinetic barrier. All modern infantry weapons, from pistols to assault rifles, use micro-scaled mass accelerator technology. Projectiles consist of tiny metal slugs suspended within a mass-reducing field, accelerated by magnetic force to speeds that inflict kinetic damage. The ammo magazine is a simple block of metal. The gun's internal computer calculates the mass needed to reach the target based on distance, gravity, and atmospheric pressure then shears off an appropriate sized slug from the block. A single block can supply thousands of rounds, making ammo a non-issue during any engagement. Top-line weapons also feature smart targeting that allows them to correct for weather and environment. Firing on a target in a howling gale feels the same as it does on a calm day at the practice. Well, as you can say, I'm gonna. Uh, as you can see, I'm gonna keep on playing for a little bit, even though it's boxing time. We gotta go a little bit more. Sign of a good game. This is this is definitely worth the purchase of sixty bucks for Mass Effect One, Two, and Three, and all the DLC. Holy shit! Everybody watching? Ooh, four and a half hours. I've been playing this. God, it didn't feel like four and a half hours. It felt like an hour. Let's see. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? No. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. 
More like the underhanded side of the council. Hmm. What do you have against the Spectre? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Interesting. Oh, that was the one, right? Head to the Century System in Hawkeye Air Cluster. Investigate. Oh wow, that's a ship. That's an outside the uh, thing mission. Hmm. Okay. You know, that's a room that there could be something to scan. Hmm. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Don't you just love it here? There's so much to see and do. What is this? Hello. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Well, they're polite. Ah, you humans are a wonderful sight here on the Citadel. Hmm. It is good to see you, human. I sincerely hope you enjoy your time here. <laughs> He sounds like a robot. I certainly hope the other inhabitants are treating you well, human. Hmm. Now what? Alright.
So where is Fisk's office? I don't know. What's this? Hmm. <sighs> Fisk's office. You know what would make this nice and so much easier would be like you go you go here, you click on the quest, and it just automatically maps it on the map for you, right? No? Okay, so that's Tlor's Den. I didn't read the whole thing. Alright, so Tlor's Den. Alright, so that's where we were to go. Alright. One, one thousand, two thousand, three, one thousand, four. Oh, three seconds load. That's the PlayStation 5, baby. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, so we got to go right, left, 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 left. All right, so. Uh. Nope, wrong way. Is it this way? Uh, no. Here we go. All right, and all right. What? Okay, how the hell did I get over there? God damn it. New? Go away. Fuck you. does take effect. Ooh, I need to get more of these medical things. Now what? Deliver information. Go to the upper wards to deliver to her. I'm there, duh. I was like, where's the doy? Go away. Not interested. I got business here, but not with you.
Hmm. Aha. Well, shit, I gotta really remember to look at the mission before I go into these things. Alright, where am I going? Upper warts. Okay. I don't know what the upwards are. Let's try this. Right. Oh shit, the only time is now. I would have to exercise, but I'm getting sleepy. But you know what? After this mission, I'm going to drink a coffee, protein shake, and then work out for 30 minutes. That'll give me caffeine, burn the calories to eat, plus pump up the adrenaline to stay up. All right. So Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. All right. You think it's expensive to live here? I could get used to living like this. Hmm. All right, so the reporter is done. We didn't do this one yet. I feel like I should do these before I leave, because I, I, at some point I get the feeling it's going to make me leave the station. So... Transmission. Hmm. Head to the Century System in the Hawking Eta Cluster. Oh shit. We're not leaving the ship yet. Um, hmm. uh, that one I don't fucking know how to do. Alright, you know what? Screw it. Let's go to the main one. Return the tower. Alright. Closer. All right. Need to go to the shop and buy more medicine too. So actually, let's check out this store first. Oh, it might be on the way. Convenient. Definitely would have be stocked up in healing power. Welcome back, Earth Clan. 
Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed... It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Hmm. Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. Hmm. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Hmm. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, well, I'm sure he's fine. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. All right, we got 2,485. Ooh, I can't get that. Oh, I don't have enough money. What's this? Pistol. Pharos is a habitable world in the Attic and Beta Cluster. Two-thirds of the habitable surface is covered with the ruins of a crumbling Prothean megatropolis. In the millennia since the Prothean extinction, the ruins have been repeatedly picked over by looters many times. Pharos was considered a poor prospect for colonization, as little open ground remains for agriculture. The only sizable freshwater sources are the poles, which are tapped by the decaying Prothean aqueduct systems. The dead cities, while in good condition considering their antiquity, are of uncertain stability. Ground level is congested by a dozen meters of fallen debris, and the air is fouled by dust. In 2178, the Human Exogeny Corporation announced its intention to place a permanent colony on Pharos to thoroughly explore the ruins. The pioneer settlement was placed on the upper levels of several intact skyscrapers, using the surviving Prothean aqueducts and rooftop hydroponic gardens to support the population. Novaria is a cool, rocky world with most of its hydrosphere locked up in massive glaciers. Damn, I got a whole plan to explore yet. Colony world, the planet Ooh. is owned by the Novaria. All right. Let's see here. Okay, so we want to go to the tower. Did I scan this one already? Nope. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Now Eden it's Prime happen. was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. 
This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Boom, Saren bitch! will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking Oh, shit! Who is Matriarch it? Matriarch Venezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think that Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. That's right. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Hmm? What's now, bitch? What's up? Commander Shepard, step forward. That's right! What? What? <laughs> it is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol. The embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. But the Captain... thought the Captain was. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander.
We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. Oh, you should go right. to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I need your help to set all this up. I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. All righty. 300 years ago, the Geth drove my people into exile. We asked the Council to wipe the synthetics out, but they ignored our pleas. Maybe if they'd listened, we wouldn't be here now. So, this is where the Council passes judgment on all us little folk, huh? Ever get the feeling we're in over our heads, Commander? waiting to speak with one of the Council's assistants. So, Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Sorry, I don't think we've met. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm going to stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen to your ship. Maybe you can get some answers. We've tried to create organic environments back on the flotilla. Docking Bay. All right. Oh, we get to upgrade. What's up? Four points. Ooh, Spectre training. Well, of course I'm going to max that out. Hell yeah. I'm just curious. Let's read them. So we got this. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Ooh, restores dead squad members with 30% health, 30% shields. Ooh, hello there. Oh, yeah, we're going to max that out. Hell yeah. All right. Nice. That is a hell of an upgrade. Let's see. Um. Pretty good one too. Let's see. We got the machinist maxed out.
so Dock and Bay. Bastard. Hmm. Aha. Fast travel. I just want to check out the ship. Man, I can't put this game down. How long have I been playing? Five hours streaming longer because the stream crashed at one point. But anyway. All right. The game didn't crash. It just randomly stopped streaming. All right. Let's see here. So. We'll go to the docks. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. Boom. I've heard some humans are angry at the Quarians after the attack on Eden Prime. After all, you created the Geth. The Geth killed billions and forced us from our homeworld. Most Quarians believe we have paid properly for our mistake. Hopefully, having you with us fighting Saren will change people's minds. Oh, it's so fucking awesome. I'm gonna get my ship now. Nice. Do we want to look around a little bit first? Oh, yes, we do because there's a scanner thing. Eight of twenty, who a lot more to go yet. Anyway. Yo, what's up, bitch? I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. Hmm. For now, all you need to know is... I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Saren's not going to get away this time. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conflict. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, 
and we stop the Reapers from returning. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara to Sony. We have reports she was Sony exploring an archaeological five. dig on one of the uncharted Sounds worlds. like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. Huh? You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. <laughs> you were a human long before you were a specter. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Most of the Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated, mission accomplished, and I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council mm. needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? Huh? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together. We had those... intel on a rogue sun. Alliance intel had... We trapped... The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist... The only back. thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. All right. In the early 2160s, 
the Alliance began aggressive colonization of worlds in the Scillian Verge, much to the dismay of the Batarians, who had been developing the region for several decades. In 2171, the Batarians petitioned the Council to declare the Verge a zone of Batarian interest. The Council refused, however, declaring unsettled worlds in the region open to human colonization. In protest, the Batarians closed their Citadel Embassy and severed official diplomatic relations with the Council, effectively becoming a rogue state. They instigated a proxy war in the Verge by funneling money and weapons to criminal organizations, urging them to strike at human colonies. Your captain now, bitch. In progress. It's me, baby. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. So survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. Hundred percent. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Boom, bitch. All right. Ah, there's the map of the galaxy part now. Okay. Now I'm just curious. Let me see something here. The Citadel. Citadel space is an unofficial term referring to any region of space controlled by a species that acknowledges the authority of the Citadel uh. Council. At first glance, it appears this territory encompasses most of the galaxy. In reality, however, less uh -uh. than 1% of the stars have been explored. Even Mass Effect FTL drive is slow relative to the volume of the galaxy. Empty space and systems without suitable drive discharge sites are barriers to exploration. Only the mass relays allow ships to jump hundreds of light years in an instant. The key to expanding across an otherwise impassable galaxy. Whenever a new relay is activated, the destination system is rapidly developed. From that hub, FTL drive is used to expand to nearby star clusters. The result is a number of densely developed clusters, thinly spread across the vast expanse of space, connected by the mass relay network. Let me see something here. Is 
The signal seems to be coming more access. Okay. Head of the Century System in the Hawk and Edit Cluster. Investigate the strange biotic community. So Century System, Hawk and Eddy. Century Hawking. Century Hawking. Can I go there? Let's see. Yo! Oh, that's as far as I can zoom out. That's dumb. It should say, are you sure you want to exit, ya bastard? Hawk in ETA. Yup, I want to investigate that shit. Sentry. Yup, that's where we're going. That's a clue. It's a side mission, but it's a clue, goddammit. Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Head Cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives <coughs> to get rid of this compound. <coughs> They've disappeared. We believe the followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers killed him. Hmm. Might not be as it appears. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier, but something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Alliance soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluations showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection. And they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. Okay. I might be able to end this without violence. You serve with him. He might listen to you. But he's already killed two Alliance representatives. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. <laughs>
<laughs> One day is 40 hours. Interesting. So, can I go there? Oh shit, where's the mission at? Uh... Okay... Um... Damn it. Survey. Okay, here we go. Pharos is a habit. There are between two and four hundred billion wow. stars in the galaxy, <clears throat> and less than one percent of them have ever been visited or had their systems properly surveyed. Humanity's early expansion into the Attican Traverse was haphazard, a desperate race to claim habitable planets where populations can be economically settled. Ignored in the wake of this land grab were thousands of less hospitable worlds, each potentially rich with industrial resources. The wealth of entire solar systems lies untapped, waiting for corporate survey teams or independent pioneers to discover and exploit them. However, this is not an easy task. In addition to the environmental hazards, the fact that uncharted worlds are largely ignored makes them popular bases for criminals, revolutionaries, cults, and others who wish to remain unnoticed by galactic society. Another thing to do. Okay, go to the Century System in the Hawken ATA cluster and investigate Matrix Kyle. Okay. See what happens if we survey it. Light metal surveyed while scan this planet you have detected a significant deposit of cobalt. Alright. Huh. Okay. Uh oh. Unknown. Scan. Survey. Well, scan the planet Thrupto. You discovered a tiny moon with some odd readings. Further scans by Chief Engineer Adams were ready to destroy its gate pod. Your salvage team recovered the components and found a league of one mentality. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 
See what this is about. Interesting. All right, Let's see what we got here. Okay, so I'm going to be able to construct stuff, probably. Oh, wow, it's got building aspects in the game. Hmm, heavy metals. Hmm. Oh, boy. Go to the sentry system in the Hawk and ETA cluster and investigate Major Cowling's body prowlers. Hmm. So what's this? Anomaly. That's me. Fight compound. Debris. Let's go here first. It's on the way. Alright, let's see how we drive this thing. Okay, good straightforward controls. Can this one jump? Ha, huh, this can jump. The human can't jump, but this can. Oh, I can't just go over there? Come on. Oh, okay. Alright, what's square do? Nope. Alright. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. I want to go towards my mark. Which, let me make sure. Oh, no, this is it. This is it. Okay. Yeah. So we are nearby. Wait a minute. Zoom in. Hmm. Okay. That's me, and that's the flag. Okay, yeah, we got a ways to go. Oh, 
Ooh. Okay, I learned something new. We don't want to do that. Alright. We'll just go with this steady straight line. Oh shit. Oh. Am I gonna have to go around? I hope not. We don't want to go all the way around. A little bit of a diagonal action going on here. And... Oh, dude, don't let me go. Don't let me go around. Come on. Oh, you little bastard. Alright, we'll go... We'll go fucking around. To a question mark soon. Come on. Dude, you gonna make me go all the way around? Come on, man. Alright. Here we go, here we go. Getting close to the mystery. Down there. Oh, there's there it is. What is this? All right. Here we go. Digging under the beacon revealed a piece of scrap metal, likely from a very old freighter. It was marked on one side with a nice thin Althor Symphonia. Oh, I forgot to buy more medicine. That's gonna kick me in the ass later, isn't it? This is okay now. Oh, hold on. There is a second mystery. We almost missed it. The front of the rover is crumbled in from impact. A glance inside tells you the occupants probably a team of illegal wildcat miners are dead. Breeze, debris still sliding down the furrowed deck. Ooh, area map recovered apparently. Okay. Let's see what this does. Um.
I don't got driving this down yet. Fall down. Oh, I see. To get across the valleys, maybe that's the one to do it. All right. We'll test that for you soon. Fun. Ha! Huh. 